Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In this video, I will explain to you how to calculate half-life if background radiations are not ignored. First of all, let's try to understand what half-life is. Let's say we have 100 atoms of element X. We have 100 atoms of element X. After a certain period of time, so we have only 50 atoms of element X. As you can see here, 50 atoms of element X. And we got new 50 atoms of element X. Y. It means element X has been decayed into element Y. So this simply we can understand the time taken to decay to become half means the time taken average time, time taken for the atoms of X to become half. That time taken simply we call is half life. So this is half life, which sometimes we also write down like this. Now we can also, a little bit, we can also try to understand more about this. Now after second half life, we will have only 25 atoms of X and we will have 75 atoms of Y. So again, in this case, you can see here, 50 become half, 50 change into 25. So this time taken is called, again, this time taken is called half life, half life, half life. So this is main idea of half life. Now, let's try to understand how to calculate half-life from a graph. In this case, we can see the initial count rate is given because on the y-axis, uh, we have number of counts per second and on x-axis, we have time in days. Now, initial count rate is given, that is 80. So, after one half-life, it has to be half. So it become 40 and again after one half life it has to become again half so it will be 20 and again after one half life it has to be half of previous number of atoms are count rate. So this is simply how we can calculate half life. Now if we draw the line from here you can see two days so we can say this is 80 become 40 and we can also see from here this is time and we can see when 40 become 20 and next one we can see again this is the time and when 20 become 10 so that is half life so let me draw arrows here to make it little more clear to you. So you can see this is one half life and this is second half life and this one is third half life and so on. So what is half life in this case? Simply you can see the half life in this case is equal to only two days. So from this graph, the half-life, we can say half-life is equal to 2.0 days. So this is how we have calculated half-life. So this is our final answer. This is how we have calculated half-life. Let's move on to next one. Let's try to calculate half-life if background radiations are not ignored. In this graph, you can see here, it is given to us that the count rate of background radiations is 20 counts per second. Now, how we can calculate half-life now if the background radiations are not ignored? 
So let me explain to you a little bit about background radiations. Background radiations are certain type of radiations that are always present. They are always present around us. The sources of background radiations can be medical. Uh, it can be cosmic rays. It also can be due to food and it also can be due to rocks and so on. So if the total count rate is given to us and we minus background radiations, uh, we can calculate count rate without background radiations. Or we can simply say this will be the count rate of sample. Count rate due to sample. Radioactive sample. Now, how to calculate half-life? I will just explain to you two steps. Just follow two steps. You will be able to calculate half-life. Step number one. First step, what you need to do is you need to calculate count rate without background radiation. You simply need to use this formula. Total count rate minus count rate due to background radiation. Step number two, you have to calculate half-life from the corrected count rate curve. So what exactly it means, corrected count rate curve. Uh, you can see here, total count rate is given to us. As you can see, this is total count rate curve. And here is corrected count rate curve. A total count rate here is 120. So how we can calculate corrected count rate? So it simply means 120 minus 20. So we got 100. Then let's say we take this point now. So here the count rate is about 70. If we 70 and if we minus 20 from 70, we will get 50. So that's the reason we have 50 here. Now next one, let's look at this point. So here count rate is about 45. So if from 45 we minus 20 count rate due to background radiations, we will get that is equal 45 minus 20, we will get 25. So this is 25. Now, when we have drawn this corrected count rate curve, simply just calculate half-life. So how we can calculate half-life when 100 become 50? So the time taken is half-life. So this is the time taken as we can see from here. So this time taken is equal to 300 seconds. And also when 50 become 25, we can also see from here, so this is 600, so again half-life, I will say T half means T half-life is equal to 300 second, and here again we can see this is equal to 300 second. So the half-life is 300 seconds. So this is how we can calculate half-life. 300 seconds. Three hundred seconds. So this is how we can calculate half-life is a quite straightforward one. Step one, first of all, calculate count rate without background radiation. Second, calculate corrected count rate and draw the curve. And from that curve, you have to calculate half-life. You have to calculate half-life from corrected count rate curve. Half-life from. So you have to be clear about this. Half-life from corrected count rate curve. So this is the important thing you need to understand. Just simple two steps and you can find. So let me explain to you one more point. Sometimes 
it will not be given to you half life but you need to find from the graph by yourself so how we can find now uh, in this case you can see for example if i draw the straight line here this horizontal line and if we extend actually this curve if we extend you will see that it will go like this after this become horizontal so then from here we can also find out background radiations in this case background radiations count rate is 20 counts per second so you can see from here after that background uh, after that the count rate is constant it is not decreasing why it is not decreasing uh, because this is due to background radiations so it's due to background radiations so if it is not given to you you can also find from the graph so this is due to background radiations so that's all for this video i hope uh, now you have better understanding how to calculate half-life if background radiations are not ignored.